Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy is Promo. Today we're gonna to talk about the brand new update to Samsung Notes and exactly what has changed. Now this doesn't only affect the Galaxy Note series, it does also work with any of the Galaxy phones. And some of these features are being moved down from the Galaxy Note 10 to the older devices. So first off, the way that you're able to see if you have an update and how you're able to get it updated is once you open up Samsung Notes, Go to your sandwich on the top left hand side that says navigation drawer and once you open this up hit on settings on the top right and you might notice a big orange square that says that there is an update to be done now if for some reason you don't see that little orange area which i've already updated mine you can simply just go inside of your little application tray go to the more options and inside of your galaxy essentials just search for samsung notes and hit on update now, once you have this one updated, you're able to go through and kind of play with all of the new features. And really the Galaxy Note 10 Plus had all of these features. There is one thing I did notice that is different after this update that I do love and super proud and happy Samsung threw this in, but I'm gonna show you all of that in here in just a second. Now, if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo and you own a Samsung Galaxy device, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to so get notified for future videos. And don't forget about that playlist tab on the very top to check out all the playlists I've made so far for your favorite Samsung device. So how about we head over to see exactly what has changed and updated. So I took a small screenshot of everything that is new and there is four. Now again, most of these moved from the Galaxy Note 10 Plus or the Note 10 series to the older devices. And you'll notice that three of the four will work with any Galaxy phone, but four of the four works with the Note series. So the first one is just referred to as export MS Word format. So it's a added feature that allows you to export any notes you created and converted to text into Microsoft Word format. So it's easy for you to move it over to a computer or anything else. And then you have the second one, which is handwriting to text. This one is a added feature that converts handwriting to text, but again, only with your S Pen supported devices. So this is the one that has to work with the Galaxy Note phone, um, but the rest of them or basically any Galaxy device. So you can see this one was already here for the Galaxy Note 10 series, but again, moving over to your Note 8s and the Note 9s. You also have a feature that is zoom in and zoom out. It's a way you're able to zoom in to maybe do a little bit easier of an edit or get it within the lines, or maybe you're writing a paper or doing chemistry or doing algebra and you need to get a little bit closer to kind of go in uh, to add in your numbers and everything else. You also have number four, which is change handwriting style. So this is one that's actually really fun you're able to do. It's a added feature that allows you to change the handwriting style using a pen. So let's check out all of these new features and exactly what they all mean. So let's open up a brand new Samsung Note. I went over inside of the handwriting area so I'm just going to go here and just say, uh, hello guys and gals. So my handwriting super sucks. It is not good. It's a chicken scratch. Um, but down here on the very bottom, you have this one that's called convert to text. And so inside of here, it says, hello guys and gals. Maybe you don't need all of that. You just wanted this area to be converted. You are able to do that. So just so you guys know, you are able to move these up and down. Uh, once you do get it converted, uh, maybe you wanted to get just a little bit closer. So let's say that we're still writing uh, and you just wanna do, uh, I don't know, maybe we're doing math and let's say that we do this. For some weird reason, let's say that this was a math problem that you wanted to kind of zoom in a little bit. Uh, you can go inside of here and now you're inside of this little editing area that you can get in, you can get out. Uh, let's say that there's something else in here that you wanted to write down. Like you're like, oh man, yeah, okay. So I think it's that. Um, obviously this is not the math problem you're gonna do it. I'm trying to give you a fast little example, but you're able to do this, exit out of it, and now you're out of that little zoom in feature and it's gonna stay on the screen right here. Now moving over to the third thing that's changed, let's say that we go down here and you wrote something down, but you want it to kind of change after the fact instead of you having to go through and delete. So I wrote down Jimmy as promo in a normal just pen style and it's black. Well, this one right over here is a way that you're able to change the style of what you wrote. So let's say that you go inside of here and maybe we wanted it to be a completely different color. We wanted it to be red. Uh, and then also inside of here, we want it to kind of maybe be a little bit thicker. So now all I gotta do is just kind of do a small, quick little swipe. 
and you're able to see that you can change what you already just did. So maybe we want this one to be yellow instead. So as you go through, you're able to give it a change. But just remember, if you dot your I's, cross your T's, if it's a completely different line, you might need to update it as well. Now that we are done, now let's talk about the very last thing that has changed. It's a way that you're able to save this one as a Microsoft Word file. So as you go through and you've already saved it, now you're able to go to share Microsoft Word file, and then now it's converting it into a Microsoft Word file for you to send it off to someone else. Um, or you can send it to you and, and then it's gonna be in that format that is needed. So that's pretty much it for the update. It basically brought four of the things that the Galaxy Note 10 Plus was able to do and moved it over into the older devices, but also a small update to the Galaxy Note 10 Plus as well with that little icon right there of switching your favorite pens. But now you're able to convert things and move it over into a Microsoft Word format. You can also change the style after it's already been made. So then this way you don't have to erase it and then rewrite it. If you love the way it looked, you just needed to change the color and also the convert to text for the older devices and everything else. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. If you guys like this video, then more than likely you're also going to like these videos over here and I'll see you guys later.